What is up guys, Taylor Moore here. I finally figured out how to do scribble animations within Final Cut. Check it out. So after watching probably about 10 tutorials on YouTube, I realized nobody's really found a good way to do scribble animations within Final Cut, but I found a way and I used it to do this. Every other method I found out there was just long and complicated and required screenshots and Photoshop and drawing on photos and then bringing all the photos in and combining them. It's just messy, not clean, terrible way to do it. I'm gonna show you how to finally do scribble animations directly within Final Cut. No screenshots, no Photoshop, no leaving the app at all. To do this, we're gonna be using a plugin I found by Pixel Film Studios called FCPX Brush. It's $30, but it's going to save you so much time. It's so versatile. It's really a workhorse of a plugin, and you can do so many other things with it. Besides just adding scribble animations, you can use it to create masks and transitions, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do all those today, so let's get started. Woo! All right, here we go. New tutorial, it's gonna be a good one. Let's dive in. First things first, you are going to want to go to the website in the link in the description. It's gonna take you to Pixel Film Studios website. Go ahead and add it to your cart and make the purchase. After you do so, you're gonna to go to your email. They are going to send you an email that's going to have your download link. When you click that, it's going to automatically download and you are gonna get a zip file. If we open that zip file, you can see there's a double click to install. If you click open on that, it'll actually guide you through the installation. So you've got that downloaded, make sure Final Cut has been closed and go ahead and restart it. Now I've got a couple video files here of my buddy Merv that we are going to edit. So if we play those back, you can see it's just a video that I've already done some color grading on, I did some time remapping on, and now we are going to add in our drawing. So the brush tool is going to be found under your generators. So go ahead and click on Pixel Film uh, FCPX brush. From there, this is 1080 footage, so we're gonna go ahead and use the 1080 version. We're gonna drag that onto our timeline and I am going to stretch that specifically to the area that I want to edit. So in this case, I want to edit over the motion of the board, which starts somewhere towards the beginning. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and shorten it though. We don't need it to be all that long. So go ahead and select that brush tool. In doing so, you'll notice in the parameters all of the different options that you have for drawing. So there's two different draw modes. You can go frame by frame or add to subsequent frames. Frame by frame, of course, is going to allow you to just edit one frame at a time while adding to subsequent frames. We'll add that drawing to every frame going forward. For this specific edit, we are going frame by frame. So let's go ahead and go to our start point. I wanna start drawing right about there. Now, if we look at what types of drawing we can do, under the brush controls, you have the ability to change the color. We can change our brush size, so we can make it really, really large, or we can make it really, really small. We also have the ability to feather the brush if we want a little bit softer edges, and we can change the fall off. So if we don't want it to fall off as hard, you wanna be able to see a little bit of a harder edge, you can do so, or we can make it fall off pretty hard where you see no edge whatsoever. I'm gonna go ahead and reset all of these, and I'm gonna go ahead and click this clear canvas button, which will go ahead and clear all the drawings off that specific segment. You also have the ability to just clear a specific frame if you don't wanna erase all of it, but you just wanna start over on the frame that you're using. So we have our start point. What I wanna do here is replicate what I did in that intro video, where we have lines that kind of follow the wheels and kind of track that motion. So we are going to start by drawing slightly under the wheels, and we're going to scroll to the next frame by using our arrows. And this is where the beauty of this plugin comes in versus the other methods. In this case, I wanna make sure that my brush is overlapping exactly where the previous frame was. So I can tab back and forth between previous and following frames and make sure that my drawing is exactly on top of the previous frame's drawing. So let's go ahead and do that. Now I'm hovering my mouse over that line and I'm gonna go ahead and go to the next frame so I know exactly where it starts and I'm gonna draw that line on and you can see it looks like the line's extending. So let's do that for the other as well. That looks great. Now let's do that again for the next frame. Let's do it again for the next frame. And we're going to repeat this process until I have a final animation that I like. Now in this case, I accidentally drew a line where I don't want it, so I'm gonna click clear current frame. 
Now this looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and play it back and see what it looks like. Yeah, I like that a lot. That looks great. But I wanna do the same thing again, but for the bottom wheels. So we're gonna go ahead and skip to the frame where we wanna start drawing. In this case, I wanna start drawing about right there. That looks pretty good. Now you do have the ability to go back to any specific frame and add to it. So in this case, we're gonna to add to this frame. All right, let's go ahead and play that back and see what it looks like. Yeah, I really like that. It kind of plays to the motion of the board, just gives it a little extra flair. I like it. So this is the exact process that I did to create that intro video, and I did that for each frame. For instance, the fire that I drew off the back of the board, following the same process, just drawing the flames getting bigger and then getting smaller again, same concept. Now, one unbelievably important step, and if you forget this, you're gonna beat yourself up, so don't forget it. Make sure you click the Save Canvas button. The Save Canvas button is gonna do exactly as it says. It's going to save your drawing. If you were to exit out at this point and then come back in, all your drawing would be lost. So make sure that you hit that Save Canvas button. Now, because this is a plugin, I figured maybe we could use this to do some other cool things as well. So here are some other uses that I'm going to be using in the future that I think are kind of creative and just add something to your videos. In this case, I want to reveal my logo in a way that's a little bit more exciting than just having it fade in. And I'm going to use this plugin to do that. So first things first, let's go ahead and drop the plugin in. So I've got my clip, I've got my logo sitting on top of that. Nothing crazy, it fades out at the end, but I wanna reveal my logo in a cool way. So how are we gonna do that? Well, first we're gonna click on our brush tool. From there, let's go ahead and make the size quite a bit bigger. I want the circle to be pretty huge. We're going to change our draw mode from frame by frame to add to subsequent frames. This is going to allow any drawing change that you make to flow through to every following frame. So using a bigger brush, using white, I'm gonna start painting on. So we're gonna go frame by frame and we're gonna keep drawing on. I want to cover the entire screen in white, but what I want it to do ultimately is slowly cover the screen. I don't want it to be all at once. And so by painting on frame by frame, we're gonna achieve that look. So if we play that back, you can see the motion. It looks really cool, but it's pretty boring. It's just white right now. So what we're going to do is find the end of that and then we're going to page forward probably about seven to 10 frames. From there, let's change our color to black instead. And we're gonna follow the same exact process. So paint it on, skip a frame, paint on a little bit more, skip a frame, paint on a bit more, skip a frame. And we're gonna do this until it's completely covered. All right, it's completely blacked out. Let's see what that looks like. Again, not terribly exciting. But once we add a little effect to it, we're gonna go into our effects, search all, we're gonna put in Luma, and we are going to add the Luma Keyer directly to the brush plugin. And with the stock settings of the Luma Keyer, it's going to create exactly the effect that we wanted. So if we play this back now, you can see the white wash over, and then where it was painted black beforehand now reveals the video underneath. Kind of a cool way to create some different transitions. You could change the color of it, do all sorts of fun stuff with it. Really a cool use of this plugin. So now I'm gonna show you how to use this plugin as a mask. I have a new file set up here. I've got two different video clips that overlap. And what I want to do is have this top clip fade away and reveal the clip underneath. So what we're going to do is we're gonna go back to our generators. We're gonna drag our brush on top again. And I'm going to shorten the brush tool to just the overlap of the two clips. That's the only portion that I need. So now select your brush tool. We're gonna to follow a very similar pattern to what we just did. We are gonna use the black brush. We're going to make the brush quite a bit bigger. So now that the giant brush is selected, we are gonna paint over that clip again, and we're gonna follow the same procedure we did before, but we're gonna use a black brush. The reason I'm using black instead of white here is because there really isn't a whole lot of black in this clip. If it was primarily dark, then I'd probably use white instead, and I'll show you why that's important soon. So let's go ahead and paint over it. Similar process, one frame at a time. All right, so we got the black painted on. Let's save to canvas, continue. Now this is where the magic happens. We are going to take these two clips, the top clip and the brush, and we are going to combine those into a compound clip. With that compound clip, we are now going to go add our favorite Luma Keyer. We're going to drop that on top. And from there, you'll see the effect starting to take place. So let's go ahead and highlight kind of where the effect is happening. 
and it doesn't look anything like we want it to look. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this highlight arrow and we're gonna move it all the way down till we see the black show up again. And then we're gonna grab that arrow and just go like a couple dots off to the right. What you can see is it's pretty close at this point. What I like to do is go into the drop down menus and I'm gonna go to this shrink and expand and I am going to reduce that slightly until you see those black edges kind of go away. I didn't really want the black edges there, so that takes those out. So now if we play this through frame by frame, we can see that effect, and that looks awesome. So we basically created our own mask transition using the brush tool. Let's go ahead and play that back at full speed. Very cool. So that's it guys, pretty straightforward, really easy plugin to use, but really versatile and because it's native within Final Cut and not screenshots and all this other crazy stuff, you can now do so many other things with it in terms of combining it with other plugins, with effects, really a versatile tool that you can add to your collection. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I will catch you guys in the next one. See ya.